can you talk about Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq and his relationship with Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik? Right, I don't know what to... <laughs> I think... This is my theory. <laughs> I think that Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq or Imam Muhammad al-Baqir or the other Imams of the, the, the Ahlul Bayt I think for the most part, if not, not necessarily, I'm not saying it has to be verbatim or spot on symmetrical, but I feel for the most part, they were, you know, as the Shia claim of them. So I feel that, you see, because what it is, is these figures that you have, you know, whether it's going to be Zain al-Abidin or whether it's going to be all of these great imams that from the from that you know from the early line of the 12 imams that the shia have now up until ja'far al-sadiq they will be very highly praised by the sunni scholars as well after that the sunni scholars still claim to accept them but don't really mention them and they ain't that well known after that in the Sunni sources. They are, I mean, when I say that, I don't mean you can't find it, but I mean for the common people, they're not that well known. Uh, up until Imam Ja'far, they are well known. So they're as well known as Sunni Salaf scholars. So somebody who's heard of Sufyan al has definitely heard of, you know, Muhammad al-Baqir or Ja'far al-Sadiq or, do you get that? But after that, the Imams that will come after whether it will be Musa al-Kadhim or the Imams, um, I suppose that's in in that other, uh, or in the other way as well, in the Ismail uh, sense as well. They're not as well known. But the question isn't that. The question is that Sunni orthodoxy claims that these Imams were nothing uh, like the Shia claim of them. So they feel that the Shia make a claim that they were, obviously they were Shia, <laughs> that they were, uh, you know, they believed in this imama structure. They believed in this kind of, uh, not a secrecy, but a special, uh, a select kind of transmission through the Al, just for the family. And, and for people related, a kind of almost like a secret society coming down, this secret order. Now, the Sunnis deny all of that and say that this is, they say it's nonsense and it's propaganda made up by the Shia. I actually think that it's not. I think that even if they're not 100% what, some, what the Shia are claiming them to have been and said, but they are for the most part that, then they are Sunni. Um, that's what I would feel. And this is the reason why Imams from the Salaf of the Sunnah, like Imam Malik, Imam Abu Hanifa, all these people, even though they were on very good terms with them, very respectful with them, they don't really transmit anything from them. Because I think it would have caused too much of a, it would have just caused a political, you know, kind of a storm for them. Because if, if, because these, because it would have been known in society that these people had those views. That's in my view, the reason why Imam Malik doesn't transmit views from uh, Imam Ja'far is the reason why uh, Imam Abu Hanifa doesn't transmit from them or other people. But that said, I think in that day and age, the, you see, the differences were there, but there wasn't this kind of um, hatred or anything, the way it is today. I mean, there was hatred with other people who were proper fanatics and extremists, but I don't believe the imams like Imam Ja'far were at all like that. 
Um, hence, they were, were with people like Imam Malik and these people, and Imam Abu Hanifa and other um, other kind of Sunni Imams. They would teach them, mingle with them, you know, be close to them on occasion, upon occasion. So uh, they obviously wouldn't have felt these people are kafirs or betrayers of the, you know, but they just to themselves probably felt that we've got this mission, which is our mission. And yeah, and I think Sunnis won't accept that because if they do, it extends legitimacy to some of the Shia claims. That's my uh, take on it. I don't think it makes, in my perspective, I don't think it makes the the Shia claim more authentic than it or than you know. It doesn't make the arguments. It doesn't change them. Um, to me, they're still what they are, but. I, I I mean I don't think by trying to cover something we can yeah we can somehow destroy the theological beliefs created by the Shia. So that yeah that's my kind of two pence on it. I don't know. I don't know. So Somebody said Imam Malik and Hanifa will learn its students from Imam Ja'far. What are you on about? Yeah, I know. I, You see the question. <laughs> this is where I'm just blabbering on and nobody's got an... <laughs> you see, what do they transmit from them? They don't transmit from them. The question is what was it that they learnt from them? We don't know because they don't tell us. So one view is, okay, one super mystical view is like saying that, oh, they used to take spirituality from them. I mean, I find that to be just like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> but, you know, it's a bit of a blag, but okay, you know, they take some spirituality, fair enough, as in you like being in the company of. That's fine, but to say, you know, you take spirituality from someone, I don't know what that even means. Okay, so I, but I definitely feel it's a blag. So they were close to them. I think that they did used to attend their circles where they taught generally about Islam, but I feel the bulk of the da'wah of those imams of Ahlul Bayt would reflect to a great part the Shia da'wah. So because these scholars were not Shia, like Malik and Abu Hanifa, they would still maybe attend those circles for the overall kind of stuff that they're saying and the company, keeping the company of the person and so on. But they would, would not teach that further because they didn't agree with it. And they wouldn't, because there's nothing they transmit really from these imams to, other, to their broader Sunni circle. So Sunnis just say, oh, that's because they learnt only spirituality, which you can't profess, which is an absurd argument. <clears throat> the other thing is that it's because it was Shia stuff. So I don't know. That's it's it is what it is. So. <clears throat> 